<laughs> Sorry, I'm grinning like an idiot because my project actually works. <laughs> This is me, shot on visibly aged, out-of-date film, but in a brand new single 8 film cartridge made here in 2023. Keep watching to see how this abandoned format has come back to life. Hi, my name's Jenny List, and it's time for another exciting instalment of What's on Jenny's Bench. When I left you last time we visited this project, I had a 3D printed single 8 cartridge that I'd loaded with film and which I thought was about as close as I could get to a working version ready for the real world. It was time to take it to an expert, so I jumped on a train to Den Haag in the Netherlands to visit the Super 8 Reversal Lab and its owner Frank Brownsma. He has a lifetime of working with 8mm film behind him and would be able to pretty quickly find any flaws in my design. Over the course of a fascinating afternoon, I learned a lot about the medium and we successfully loaded a couple of my test cartridges with expired Kodak black and white film. We took my Fujika P400 out onto the stairwell for a short test shot before going outside and taking in some Dutch street life. I had the P400 and he was using his professional grade Fuji ZC1000. The results as you can see are very encouraging, not only does the cartridge work, but it does so without any problems across multiple cameras. Everything seems rosy then, but that's not to say it's without issues. These were FDM printed cartridges and as such they have a slightly rough surface, something which Frank found with further experimentation could scratch the film. They also have some friction, something he solved with a small amount of plastic lubricant. It was time to try an SLA resin print of the same model, and for that I sent off an order to JLC PCB in China. I sent them three models with ISO slots for 50, 100 and 200 films corresponding to those stocks that are readily available. The results are very good indeed, though I found the plastic was thinner than I would prefer in the ISO slot. I think I need to make it very slightly shallower to help with that and I think it's important that these cartridges be sprayed with a black paint before use to minimise light incursion. My painted cartridge is I think about as good as it gets and though users will almost certainly find things that lead to small modifications I think it's about ready to be released. There's one further thing to do before I make the files available though which is to change the license under which I release it. I've made my models available under a Creative Commons license in the past, but I think I need to move on to one more specific to open hardware that has a strong liability clause. You use a homemade film cartridge at your own risk, but to avoid anyone trying it on I think I need to cover my backside. So I'll have one more round of prototype printing, and I'll get hold of another Super 8 cartridge to load a fresh single 8 test with real film. And if that works I'll consider it ready to go. I'm looking forward to that moment because I want to see what single 8 filmmakers do with my design. Subscribe for the next instalment and you can see this project come to fruition. I don't have a sponsor for my videos, but as before I'd like to take a moment to talk about something else I'm involved with. I'm a board member of a small non-profit called TransRescue. We exist to help trans people like me escape dangerous and dodgy places around the world. I'd like you to take a look at our website and see what we do, and if you can, help us to continue our work. Thanks very much, and thank you for watching this video.